The brush accelerator is a utility that analyzes your computer hardware and then automatically chooses optimal performance settings for your system. The brush accelerator also provides feedback about how well your computer can run Corel Painter, and it indicates how you might be able to upgrade your components to improve performance. Painter 2022 has been optimized with new technologies. If your computer supports the brush acceleration features, it will allow stamp type brushes to leverage your GPU or graphics processing unit, which can significantly improve brush performance. The brush acceleration dialog can be accessed from several locations within Corel Painter. You can find it under Performance in the Welcome menu. It can also be found in the Corel Painter Preferences under Performance. And you can find it under Advanced in the Properties bar. And then click on the Brush Accelerator button in the Performance panel. I'll choose the Brush Accelerator that's located in the Welcome menu. It's important to run this before you do anything else to ensure Painter is running optimally on your system. Before I run the test, I want to close any unnecessary applications that might be running on my computer. Next, I will click on Optimize Now. Once the test starts, some brush strokes will begin to appear on the test canvas. Be sure not to press any buttons on your keyboard or do anything else on your computer until this test is finished. Once the test is complete, you will be presented with your score. The score gives you an idea of how well your computer is able to run Corel Painter. If you rerun the test like I have, you may notice that your score goes up or down. In my case, my score has gone down from about 14,000 because now I'm using some of my computer resources to record my screen. I know there are a lot of artists out there who already know a CPU from a GPU, but I'm gonna do my best to break this down into layman's terms so everybody can understand the information being presented here. Corel Painter says my brush acceleration score is awesome and I should expect exceptional performance. Next to that, I can see which components are responsible for accelerating the performance of Painter and the distribution of their effect. First is Baseline, which represents Painter's performance without any acceleration, so you have a reference. Next is the effect of multi-core processing from my CPU. That's helping a little bit, but what's having the greatest effect on performance on my system is my GPU, or graphics processing unit. This means that brushes that support GPU acceleration will benefit the most, and I will experience up to 75 times the baseline performance or in this case, 66.8, since I'm using some computer resources to record this course. With brushes that only support CPU acceleration, I will experience around 18 times the baseline performance. Beneath the brush accelerator stats, you have a score that says whether or not you meet the recommended system requirements for Corel Painter. My system exceeds them. And beneath that, you have more detailed information about each of the hardware components that are contributing to brush performance. I can see that I have 12 CPU cores in my computer, and that's eight more than the recommended four cores. So the green check indicates my CPU passes the test. If you're seeing a yellow or red icon, that signals there is an opportunity to improve the performance of Painter by upgrading your CPU. The CPU is the brains of your computer, so having more cores available for your operating system and other applications you may be running in the background is highly recommended. Or in other words, Corel Painter requires four cores, but you may also require another two to four cores for everything else running on your computer. More cores also improves brush performance, but even on my system, which has a fairly powerful CPU, multi-core isn't really contributing much to my boost in performance compared to the GPU. Next, we have AVX2, which are instructions your CPU can use to improve the performance of brushes in Painter. It's recommended that your processor supports this feature. Many newer Intel processors do, as do AMD processors like the Ryzen 9 I am using. Moving on to GPU, we can see that a compatible graphics card is recommended for accelerating brushes in Corel Painter. Your graphics card might be something that you purchase separately and plugged in, or it might be something that's built into your computer. My NVIDIA GTX 1080 is ranked as compatible, so that's good. If you have a powerful video card installed, but it's not listed as compatible, there are known compatibility issues with some video cards, and unfortunately, there is not an official list of cards for you to reference. In some cases, an incompatible GPU score can be resolved by selecting the correct video card. If you have multiple GPUs on your system, I will discuss how to do that later in this course. If your GPU score is gray, that may indicate that your computer's CPU is more powerful than the GPU at accelerating brushes, so the GPU is not being utilized. The last component in the brush accelerator is memory. We can see that I have 63.9 gigabytes of RAM. 
The recommended value is 16, so as long as you have at least that much RAM, Painter will be happy. Now let's bring all of this information together to paint a picture of how Painter is utilizing our computer resources. What my report is telling me is that my system can take full advantage of Corel Painter's brush acceleration features, with my GPU contributing the most to performance. Based on this score, I should expect excellent overall performance. Sure, I could upgrade my computer to one that has even more cores and buy an even more powerful GPU, but this report indicates that there would be diminishing returns on my investment. Corel Painter already has what it needs to get the job done, and any more hardware power might go unused. In fact, I recently upgraded from 6 cores to 12 cores, and while Painter does feel a bit faster, it's not considerably faster. If I were running the brush accelerator on a different system with fewer cores, an onboard video card, and less memory, these wouldn't be green check marks, they might be yellow or red. That would also make my score much lower and negatively impact brush performance. If that's the case, this is an opportunity to upgrade your components or your computer if your goal is to get Painter working at peak performance. If you're getting a low score, that doesn't mean you can't use Corel Painter. It just means that certain brushes may work more slowly. There are workarounds, like working on a smaller canvas or painting with simple brushes, which will allow you to enjoy Corel Painter even on underpowered computers. Beneath the system requirements box, there is a button that says learn more about your results with information on how to interpret the report. For example, if your GPU score is red, that would indicate your GPU does not support OpenCL 1.2 or higher, which is required by Painter. If your GPU does support OpenCL 1.2, then make sure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed and run the test again. Corel recommends the NVIDIA GeForce 10 series, which is what I use. That should give you a pretty good idea of what the brush accelerator can do.